Using effects is the heart and soul of Axiom. We can add them anywhere in the signal chain where we see these plus buttons, at the input, at the pre or post section of either of the amplifiers, and in the master section. Now we click the plus button to add and we can select from the built-in 40 effects. For example, here, maybe I'll try something to add some drive to the input signal. The bypass button is here. You can also bypass over here. And we can call the plugin back up by clicking on this icon. And let's say I don't like this one. I want to select another one. I can click here and I can choose presets from that one or I can go right down to select and replace it right away. And choose this one. Now each plugin has its own preset menu. And maybe I want to tweak this one. Okay, so I like that amount of input drive, and I want to save it as a preset. I'm going to click here and go Save As, and it's going to bring up a menu where it's going to direct me to the location to save it in, so it'll appear in the preset menu. And that exists in your Documents folder in Blue Cat Audio, Blue Cat's Axiom, Components, and you'll have subfolders for each of the plugins that you're using. So I'll just name this quickly. And now it'll appear here in the menu right underneath the factory presets. So we can save if I update it and I want to resave it, just hit save or save as for a new setting. And we can always save it as user default so it comes up right away or clear whatever is user default. And we have some of the familiar gear icon menus there. Now it's still appearing as blue drive here, but I can customize the name. So if I click here, I get this menu and I can go to rename where I can give it a custom name that even though it's the blue drive plugin, it'll appear with my own name. So it's appearing that way, but I can click and open it up and we see, of course, that it's Blue Drive. Now we can also click here and go Show Editor and that'll open it. And we have the Bypass button here. Now let's say I want to add another effect here to the input strip. I'm going to click here and choose from the built-in plugins and go to Phaser. So this is going to affect the entire signal going to both amps. So just a little bit of it like that is fine. Now, let's say I want to save this as an effect strip so I can call these all up at once. We have this menu up here and we have the same one at the master section, the pre-amp section and the post-amp section where I can either empty the strip, which will clear out all the plugins at once. And I've got one saved here already, or I can save as and create a new chain. So I'm going to name it Input and Phaser, which I've already got named here. And let me just show you where this is saving to. Documents, Blue Cat Audio, Blue Cat's Axiom, Settings. And then we have separate subfolders for the input strip, which is where we're at now, the master output, post-amp and pre-amp strips, and even the amp channels themselves. So I'm going to go in here and save that. And we'll see now that it's going to appear here as an option so I can recall this strip later. So we can do the same thing in the other sections here, call up plugins. We can bypass the entire strip with these bypass buttons. We can bypass the entire amp A or amp B. And same thing with the master section. Okay, this is sounding nice. I've got some reverb, but maybe I want to try out one of my third party reverbs. But I'm not sure, I might like this better. I'm going to bypass it and load in an audio unit plugin. So we'll go to load audio unit or VST or VST3 and it'll bring you to your component folder. And I'm just going to type in R4. It's one of the reverbs I have from Exponential Audio that I want to try. So let me just adjust it quickly. Okay, that's sounding nice. So I've got it here and I can obviously audition either one that I want. But the really nice thing is that I can show the pedal controls over here and they'll update and show for third-party plugins the relevant controls. As I click here, it's showing me the controls for the first reverb and this one for the third party. So let's say I like this and I want to save it and call it up. Next time I use it, I don't want to have to scroll through that whole component folder. What I can do is click here and go to Save As and it's prompting me to go to the folder documents, Blue Cat Audio, Blue Cat's Axiom, Plugins, User. So I'm going to name this one. 
And now if I go to load another plugin in, let's say next to it, for example, and I click the plus sign, we'll see under select that preset. So in addition to the factory plugins that we have, we have this custom setting that calls up not only the third party plugin, but the actual settings themselves. So I can save multiple instances of the R4 with different settings if I wanted to. Just going to go to no plugin. Now, another thing we can do when we're working with effects is we can copy and paste them to different locations. Like, for example, if I click here, I'll go copy, and now I can click into another slot and just paste it in. And there I've got that plugin in that slot. And again, I'll go no plugin. <laughs> guitar is sounding nice and I've got the wave shaper adding some nice tone to it but I want to automate this rectify parameter so that it comes in and out on specific notes now to do this we need to use parameter mapping we click in the menu here and go to parameters mapping and we have a couple of choices we can automatically map all of the parameters that we see in the plugin here or in this case I only need one or maybe two of them we can enable the individual ones. For example, I want rectify. So simply by clicking on it, we'll see that it's now enabled. I can click again to disable it. And the other thing we can do is go to learn mode, which means any parameter we touch is going to be enabled for parameter mapping. So those two that I touched, you'll see are both available now. And you'll see in brackets that they have control O1 and control O2 next to them, indicating where and how they're going to appear in the host DAW. And if we want to get rid of these assignments, we can, of course, go reset all assignments and they'll be gone. Now, I'm going to turn learn mode off so I don't accidentally add any more to my parameter mapping. And once they're mapped, we can see the control assignments with this enabled. We see them at the bottom here. And as I dial this, you'll see it's dialing the rectify knob and this is dialing the filter cutoff knob. And we can optionally enable this to learn some MIDI assignments. But for now, let's look at automating it in the host DAW. I'm going to turn this off. We don't need to see those knobs. I can dial directly from here if the interface is open, or if not, I can just keep it closed and use these knobs. But I'm going to use the plugin interface for now. So for the moment, what I'm going to do is just move this out of the way, and I'm going to look in the list here, and we'll see that in the automatable parameters, we have control one and control two, and I want to automate control one now. So I'm just going to put this into touch mode and I'll dial it up as I need it. Good. So there it is. Let's go back to read mode and we can listen and see the parameter kicking in. So those are some tips on how you can get the most out of working with effects in Blue Cat Audio's Axiom.